half of our brothers and sisters also died in the, uh, under the Chinese torture and we never do uh, consider Chinese people as our enemies. But now we are refugees, we don't have our uh, country. In 1959 so we had lost our freedom. Also, now you think about the current situation, the Chinese are claiming they have pro pro progress in development. We are insisting that we are facing oppression. Here then again, one simple and clear example. The children from inside Tibet who are being smuggled for education and who are belong to freedom. Can you imagine any parent who have to make this painful decision to send their children out into exile to a land they do not know, perhaps never ever to see them again? When, because here when I got chance to study in India. But my brothers and sisters are left in Tibet. Those people say that Tibet is a part of China, but they don't care, take care of like uh, Chinese. So it tends to make us very sad. So Tibet people so don't have a right to learn the pattern in Tibet. So they are forced those uh, Tibetan students learning only Chinese. Lots of people uh, don't have freedom expressions and uh, like uh, other people, the Indian people have. I work like uh, Google and uh, YouTube and uh, they cannot see so that those people are very very poor about the information of the world. My friends are like in Tibet. They are very Beauty to the high schools, but to come here with me, I am informative, I can say properly. But they are living in the world, but they don't know the information of the world. What is going on in the world? Only Chinese policies. Tibet is a huge country which China needs because of their exploding billion. So, with this situation, we are facing planned and systematic genocide but because of their one child policy there are millions upon millions of poor Chinese men who cannot get a wife they are coming into Tibet and here then we have a situation they are changing the population of Tibet and this will then change the strategic situation inside Tibet of this election should send a clear message to Beijing that the Tibetan leadership is far from fizzling out. We are a democracy that will only grow stronger in years ahead and we are here to stay. Victory will be ours. Long live His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Pay your law.